it's going forward, I think. Last night was a hassle. Having to spend the last 14 hours soaking wet in negative degrees was painful. After all the work our train did, we thought we wouldn't get all the way to Chihuahua, but having gone through some stressful, cold and tormenting moments, we did make it there eventually. After barely sleeping for 4 days, we rewarded ourselves with a hotel room to catch some sleep and to dry all of our wet clothes. The temperatures dropped noticeably, but at least the sun was out. Now, it was time to head back to the train yard to catch any trains heading south towards Guadalajara. Okay, we are pretty much in the yard right now. There's a lot of cars here, intermodals, grainers, uh, gondolas I think. We don't know if anything's gonna leave yet, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that part later. We're probably gonna be here for a while. Do you know what the time is? Half past 10. I, I say that's late morning. So if anything should leave now, that makes sense to our schedule, but you never know. And then we were back at it. We had some information that our train might leave early morning. But when is that specifically? Regardless if our information was right or not, we continued waiting until it was no longer morning. You want to get this? I mean, dude, I'm not sure if it's... Uh there's sending shit off here or if it's actually something going on. I don't know. Pick okay. up, pick up. Right. Pick up and shit, alright. <laughs> Why are you wearing that shit? <laughs> if this line is leaving right now, or soon, we'll get into models and just fucking hide. Especially in these big yards. You wanna board it now? They might just put them in store them here. I don't know. Yeah, that's what they could go in the Yeah, let's get ready. Yeah. All right, been waiting for a while. Been waiting the whole day. Finally, some grainers pulled up. Seems like this is the ride that we want. No. All right, we're letting this train go right now because uh, Bo saw a, a big line of grainers further down here. So we're pretty sure that this line of uh, grainers are gonna attach to that one. So it's gonna be a long ass train because this one right here isn't actually that long. We have everything. It's not even that late, I think it's at 8 p.m. right now. Why is there a guy on an ATV there? And also, why the fuck is he looking at us? You see that guy? I just heard a story of people fucking getting chased by those uh, quads. Fucking want to rob you or some shit. I don't know if this is the case here, but at least the train's moving now. We finally boarded a train in the evening and knew that this would be another long train journey. And after riding sleeplessly the whole night, the train stopped in the outskirts of Torreon. Good morning, y'all. It's about 6, maybe 7 a.m. Haven't slept at all, but we made it to Torreon. We've been here for four, maybe five hours. I'm tired. But yeah, now we're moving again. We're heading to a big ass yard. We're probably gonna be there for a while as well, which kind of sucks. So I think we should hide there because uh, there might we might get kicked off by security or guards or whatever. So it's time to get in that fucking little hole again, hide, and then once we make it out of the big yard, we can uh, yeah make some great videos, take some photos, see the scenery for the first time on this trip, really. So that's the reason we've been staying here for so long is that they're doing track work. So dusty. <laughs> Too long. Ah, we 
going. I think. Is that yours? A guy over there? Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just keep it. Fuck it, we might need it. <laughs> yeah, it looks fucking sick. It might be too small though. It's a good bag too. Yeah, keep the bag. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Oh my god, it feels so good getting just just getting oh, out. Fuck yeah, so that yeah. hole, man. I hate that fucking hole. <laughs> I mean, it's good for good to stay hidden. <laughs> yeah. Just like that, it was time for another cold and sleepless night in the desert. At around 3 a.m., our train suddenly stopped and stood still for a while. We went out of the greener hole at sunrise to finally be able to stretch out our legs and to check the scenery around us. Little did we know, that pause was permanent. Eventually, we were confronted by two railroad workers who knew exactly why our train didn't depart. Um, and then the Aventura, right? Aventura, Aventura, yeah. We start the Chihuahua, the train. Oh, okay. Yo, the train has derailed. Yeah. Derailed. Derailed. Yeah. Derailed. Yeah. Derailed. Yeah. This one. Ooh, Again. Okay. He's gonna ask him if there's any expected times when traffic is back to normal. Using a Google Translate here. 24 hours. All right. Guess we can stay a day in Zacatecas and maybe catch a train from there. We don't know if it's actually possible to catch a train from Zacatecas, although the tracks at Zacatecas, they, they curve a lot, so the train might be going slow enough, but I'm not sure. First challenge is try to actually get there. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Yes, the Osho, Osho. Osho, stand there. We were just about to start walking and then uh, some cars came and then here we are in the back of a truck. <laughs> Gracias! Hola amigos, we ate our food, bought water, drank water, that's so good. What's gonna happen is uh, we gotta cross this highway and then just stick our thumbs out. Hopefully we end up in Zacatecas, which is in uh, 43 kilometers. After a few minutes with our thumbs out, we decided to get the local bus that cost pretty much nothing. We also decided to rest a bit at a hotel after spending another two nights awake, and then we went out to explore the city.
Zacatecas. We got a little bus, it was very cheap. Now we're in this beautiful city, we got a hotel room, which is actually sick because we didn't pay a lot for it at all. The train derailment never happened, we wouldn't have been here right now. So uh, yeah, I love that. Let's get to explore a city you've never heard of before. Tomorrow, try to go to that derailment spot. They might go very slow there and we might be able to get on it. arrived here by bus earlier today, we passed the spot where the derailment had happened. We thought it was a good idea to try to catch a train from here as it probably would run slow enough. So the next morning we packed our stuff and went straight to that location. Gnarly shit. There's another accident at 700 km. Is that south? Sur? El Sur? Oh Jesus. In Zacatecas? In Zacatecas. 12 km. We spoke to some workers who gave us some information about another derailment just 12 kilometers away from the previous one. Apparently, there had been a front to front collision, leaving several people injured, and that also affected houses beside the tracks. We now realized it would take a very long time before traffic could go back to normal. So, there's no trains today due to an accident further down the line in Zacatecas. What the fuck? Bo hasn't got too much time left before he's going back to Europe. So we're gonna get a bus from here to Guadalajara and then just wait it out there. It's about a five hour bus ride. Welcome back, we find ourselves in Guadalajara. Right here are the tracks, the train's gonna be coming here very slowly and eventually gonna stop due to a crew change, which is very fortunate for us because that way we know the train's gonna stop, it's gonna be easy for us to get on it. Now this train runs to Manzanillo, a beautiful beach town which I really want to go to because well it is a scenic route going that way and also we can take a swim in the Pacific Ocean which I have never done before. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it focuses but it says mm -hmm. 15 minutes past 12 midnight so a train should uh, be here at 2 that's the usual schedule but the fact that our schedules haven't really been right on this trip so far it might not come then. I mean, this is probably the place where I felt the most unsafe on the whole journey so far. A few people came up and started talking to us and being fucking weirdos. They took my phone. Do you have a camera? I have everything, but you I. Drone, you have a camera. But uh, uh, how the fuck do I get like a credit card or something? Wait. I, don't, I have no. I'm nothing now. Absolutely nothing. He took your wallet. He took my wallet. He took my uh, credit card. It's because we're. Yeah, we're. We're, we're in, way too comfortable, man. We're na naive as fuck. Way too comfortable. I took out my SD cards as soon as I realized that uh, this guy's got a fucking knife. Yes. What's more worth it, man? My fucking video cards or whatever? Or my actual money? Because I have nothing right now. I'm still down awake, but I have no water, no food. Yeah. Yeah. So it is currently, what is it, seven, maybe eight? So we're laying on top of this fucking tree right now in the hope to not get robbed tonight also. Yep. We are, uh, yeah, just down here. It's uh, where- The train is sitting right there, but it's uh, northbound. Yeah. Another northbound. So the train is gonna stop right here as well. The one that we wanna get, probably at two. That's what we think. But that's what we thought yesterday as well. Nothing happened. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to sleep here for a little bit and then uh, hopefully not get robbed. See ya. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, 
Oh, good fucking morning, people. What's the time? Like one? Around one. We slept for a bit, I think. Oh, I like to believe that we slept over, at least late here. We heard a train honk. We are fairly sure that our train is coming now. All right. Uh, Bo said the train is coming. He saw the headlights all the way down there. I didn't check myself, but he did, so it's great news. So uh, we're not sure if this is the right train, but we're kind of sure. If it is the right train, it's gonna stop, do a crew change here, and then continue again. But it's gonna be guards. Uh, that's probably gonna try to keep people off the train. Uh, mostly from stealing, but probably riding as well. Oh, yes sir. We should go somewhere a bit dark, so that the driver don't see us right now, because I'm not sure if they want people on this train or not. All right, I think it's finally time to get out of here, hopefully. I'm not gonna get my hopes up yet, but holy shit, we're so tired. Let's get the gondola. Empty. I think we fucking did it, man. All right, what's up, people? You can't see me because it's dark as fuck, but basically we got on the fucking train finally after waiting for more than 24 hours in a place that i don't ever want to be again but we probably have to if we're going to go south towards mexico city but anyways the deal now it's uh, i think it's about two right now we waited a while for the train to leave so uh, i'm just going to sleep for a bit because we haven't slept at all probably wake up at sunrise and then uh, yeah we'll just uh, yeah, start filming from then started finally moving. This train is just so fucking slow. Now I'm not in a hurry, but it still would have been cooler if the train went a little bit faster. But right now I'm just gonna enjoy the sunrise because I don't really have a lot of energy to do anything. If you look at Bo, he's just sleeping out here, man. I did the same thing on this side. So happy we actually managed to get this ride because I did not want to spend another day in that fucking city in Guadalajara. I think like certain spots in Guadalajara is probably good, but the, the, the spot we were, that's probably the worst part in all of the city, so... Yeah, there you go. That's my phone gone, that's my wallet gone, and all my credit cards and shit, but... That's how it is. You can't really complain because this is what we signed up for anyway, so... But it still sucks. <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen, we are, uh, yeah, we've been riding this train for a bit now, the scenery is absolutely amazing, but if you take a look around, man, we're heading towards some type of fog, I don't know, I have no idea, I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible though, we're just sitting on top of a fucking freight train in the jungle, looking kind of like Southeast Asia, I don't know, the Philippines, Thailand, I don't know, it's just so green, you got the mountains on the side, it's, yeah, life is, uh, life is great, this is good, yes, I don't have a phone, but life is great regardless. Yeah, man. Awesome. Awesome shit. <laughs> Yo! Check this out.
fucking sick. Everything is just so fucking green. You got all the trees, you got the grass. I don't know what to say. All I know is that this place is absolutely incredible. It's a very scenic ride. It's very, very scenic ride. Holy shit, check how fucking steep that is. Off the train. What do you say? Jumping in the water for a bit? Yeah. I mean, the water is fucking dirty, but I don't care. So am I. <laughs> Yo, Bo. Why did you buy toothpaste? What happened? What is why this? Why I bought toothpaste? Yeah. Because I drink uh, two squirts a day. So I need <laughs> to brush my teeth, and I haven't done it, and now it's out of toothpaste. So what back happened? in Zacatecas, I bought something that. It seemed just like toothpaste. I didn't use it until now on the freight train. I was like, oh, I should probably brush my teeth. Squeezed it. Some weird little stuff came on it, but I tried it. It was literally glue for like, what's, what's it called? Loose teeth? Like, Replacement teeth, maybe? Oh, yeah, my fucking mouth is glued together. I thought it was toothpaste. What is uh, it? What is it? To attach fucking uh, <laughs> loose teeth. Oh. feeling ever. It wouldn't go away. I can't imagine your fucking teeth being stuck like that. Did it taste good? 